Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today we're going to make this um, cute card. Uh, there's lots of this um, honeycomb effect in the catalogue. Uh, this is in the spring-summer catalogue where you can see the little pieces um, embedded in the honeycomb. So I'm going to show you how to do that and also give you some tips um, on how to make the um, little uh, sizzlet pinwheels um, and how to make either puffy ones or flat ones. So I'm going to go ahead with that. So we're going to start with a card base in uh, Pretty in Pink and this is an A4 uh, piece cut in half long ways and fold it over. That's the, the style of card we're going to have today. And then um, I'm using the designer paper I'm using is this gorgeous T for Two designer paper. There's just It's just so pretty. Um, again in the spring summer catalogue from Stampin' Up. And I'm going to take a piece of that that is um, two inch, uh, sorry, three inches by four inches and a piece of very vanilla three inches by four inches. And I'm going to bring in the big shot. So we're going to start off with the pinwheel. So I've got two little two inch squares of um, designer paper. For the pinwheel it'll cut two at a time so I'll just pop two of those on there and I'm just using uh, tab number one platform and tab number one and I'm going to run that through the big shot and those just pop out as you see okay so I'll come back to those in a moment and um, show you how to do the two different effects with those. So next I'm going to do the um, honeycomb embossing folder also from the spring summer catalogue and line that up. You can do this with no tabs or one tab on your uh, big shot depending on how deep you want the impression to be. I'm going with one tab here and I've got a nice deep impression of that honeycomb, very pretty. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a scrap piece of the um, designer series paper and run that through the honeycomb as well. And we'll see why in just a moment. Okay, so we're done with the big shot. So a couple of tips on the pinwheel. Um, when I first tried to do this, I really struggled because I was trying to do it um, with the, the brad straight away, actually pushing the brad through. But there's an easier way to do that, and I'm going to show you that now. So what you do is you take your uh, uh, pricking tool and actually pop that through these little holes that are cut for you by the, um, by the die. And you want to get those four in, and then with the um, with the the pricking tool, actually get it through that one at the bottom. You can actually, if you put that down, you can you can kind of feel where that hole is, and push that through. And once you've done that, you can press those down a little bit, pick it up, and then put your brad straight through all of those holes and sorry you didn't see that put straight through all of those holes and press that through and by doing that you get a nice little puffy um, pinwheel which look cute okay much easier than trying to actually do it all with the brad um, the other way to do it if you want a flat one and if it's going through the post it might as well be flat um, just use the um, little um, pre-cut holes as a guide as to where you want those to be which is right in the middle and overlap all of them don't worry about trying to line them up perfectly then make your own hole through the middle and then with a brad open those out and as you see if that's going through the post it's going to flatten anyway so you might as well have a flat one but that's the the difference in look for a puffy one and a flat one we're going to use both on the card today so I'm going to start off by um, attaching my honeycomb 
piece of very vanilla with Tombow glue onto the card. And then the piece of designer paper is going to go above and I'm just going to overlap that slightly. Line that up. Okay. And then we want to fill some of these with some colour. So what you do is you take the piece that you've run through the, the um, big shot and pick some ones that you would like to cut out. And you use the, um, the line of that die as your guide. And it means that it's very easy to just snip around those and if you snip off, if you make sure, so I've just missed a bit there, so you actually make sure you snip off the raised pieces, then they will fit perfectly in the little holes. Just do another couple for you. So I'm just picking a couple of pretty colours from this T for Two paper. And there's another one. The other thing I'm going to use um, on this card is uh, the Made For You stamp set. And I'm going to ink that up in Old Olive and punch it out with the Oval Punch. And then I'm taking some uh, Calypso Coral, which is also picked up from the colour of the designer paper and I'm going to punch out a scallop circle, a scallop oval rather, let's do that a little better and layer those up, a little Tombow and we'll put dimensional on the back There we go. So I'm going to lay that one on here. I'm going. I'm, I'll put these in these pieces in last, so I can decide exactly where I want them to go. Um, I'm going to put one of my little pinwheels there, and I'm putting these on with dimensionals as well, and one of them just here. And that just covers over that border a little bit, sort of finishes the card a little bit more nicely. And then I'm going to pick one, two, ooh, random, three, four. And you can just pop those in. That looks like I'm going to need a little trim just on the edge of that one. pretty on that side, we'll use that side. And that one up there. So there you go, I hope you've enjoyed today's project um, here at Elizabeth's Craft Room. Um, I do a video every Tuesday, so do come back and, uh, and see my videos again and there will be posts, um, other posts on here later this week.